I'd like to see gratitude as my spiritual practice. What are some of the best ways to focus on gratitude? It's a wonderful practice. I'd have to say it's one of the most effective practices because you'll be faced with yourself when you can't feel gratitude. And you'll, if you have an intention to do something, then you're also very clear about, um, you know, what's the background hum going on in your life. So you'll show up to all kinds of circumstances, same way you would as if you hadn't intended to be grateful that day, all day every day. If you show up to yourself that morning and say, today, I choose to walk the path of gratitude with infinite love. And if by chance you find yourself not being grateful for something, it's really wonderful because it causes you to recognize what things you still believe in as formidable to your truest nature. That, that can knock you off of your own mark. And that's great as long as you're grateful for the circumstances that knock you off, just to be more aware of the kinds of things you still believe are formidable, like nasty people or um, being impatient in lines, things like that. Those are very normal, common, everyday experiences for people, but often they knock people out of a state of gratitude. Quite often, all day, every day, you'll see people who are knocked out of their state of gratitude because they become impatient or they've come up against adversity. If you're doing this within yourself, again, it's between you and you, the divine of you and this smaller self you might believe yourself to be that still needs some work that still um, hasn't owned your full out divinity, then you'll notice in these circumstances that they're only thrown out before us so we can walk into them to see where it is that we still believe in separation. And that's a really powerful spiritual path. It faces you with yourself all the time. It faces you with your illusory self, your, your egotistically oriented self, which you have to love and feel grateful for and embrace in order to be able to own who you really are, the one who can embrace even yourself if you're acting in any way off. So really powerful path just to wake up in the morning and align yourself with gratitude by taking in a big, deep breath of gratitude, knowing that's the true spirit of you, that now you're breathing in and aligning with gratitude. And then move through your day very deliberately and mindfully that gratitude is your is the way you walk today, that this is the way you connect with love and your truest identity. And that if you fall off, you're grateful for that new experience that lets you kind of readjust and, and correct yourself on this path of gratitude. I also say that there are some other tangible things that are, are powerful um, journaling and having uh, where you can actually literally see it on a page, the things that you're grateful for, it reminds you of how good it feels, how, how authentically true to you it feels to feel gratitude. That's because this is a divine aspect of you, a divine quality of you. So things like a gratitude journal or even just reminders around notes, sticky notes of the things that you can be grateful for. You know, be grateful, put a sticky note near your faucet that you have running water in, the, in a home that is a roof over your head. It can start you on this whole barrage of gratitude. Let yourself deliberately um, just bask in the state of gratitude as often as possible. Slow down take it in and savor things in life. Let you, let this still small voice inside of you speak to you more often. It speaks of gratitude. It actually literally speaks of gratitude for you. The still small voice is trying to get past all the clamoring, cluttered voice of the ego just to tell you how much it appreciates you and how much it loves you. It's always in this state where it just wants you to see with its divine eyes how much you are loved and how important you are on planet earth. So let that ego go as 
most effectively as possible by just not judging the situations you're walking into and feeling grateful for any things that make you feel as though you have to grow into bigger divine shoes to be able to embrace those situations. Really great question that that's a, a, you see it as a spiritual practice and how can you focus on that? Deliberately do gratitude meditations, gratitude journaling, feel grateful for the food you're about to eat, you know, let yourself pray over things that feel as though that they're delightful, like flowers growing <laughs> in unusual times or people smiling, even in the midst of adversity. There's a lot of people out there who are doing amazing things right now that are exceptional for other people on the front lines and in life in general and they deserve our gratitude. So just feel that grateful heart and know that whenever you feel gratitude, it goes out like rays of sun shining out light to the, to the rest of the world and know that you're bringing people to a greater realization just by being in gratitude yourself because we're all one.